Today we are going to see the uh, obesity classifications, how uh, uh, obesity is classified. Uh, those days we say, oh, you know, he is overweight, underweight, and you know, it is uh, uh, in the obesity only in the center, only the uh, lower side, upper side. Now it's not like that. Obesity now is internationally classified into uh, some stages, like uh, depending upon the BMI. What is BMI? BMA is nothing but our weight in kilograms divided by height in meters square. So somebody is uh, 170 uh, centimeters and somebody is 90 kg. So 90 kg divided by 1.7 into 1.7. What you get is the BMI. So what is normal range? It is 18.5 to uh, 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 25. So this is the normal range. So anything below that we classify into uh, uh, underweight that is uh, you can be around 18.5 to uh, uh, 16 to 18.5 is called underweight severely underweight is less than that and very severely underweight is something like BME less than 15 and the same way above like overweight overweight is nothing but uh, 25 to 30 the BME is 25 to 30 we call that uh, overweight and uh, 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 Obesity class 1, class 2, class 3, above this we classify. Obesity class 1 is BMA between 30 and 35. And uh, obesity class 2 is uh, BMA between 35 to 40. And morbidly obese or class 3 obesity is more than 40. These are international standards. For Indians, it is little, uh, in Indians and Asians, it has been little modified according to our, uh, uh, you know, gene and other uh, um, uh, disease factors. So for Indians, we generally say anything more than 32, we call this, you know, 35 to uh, 32, 35 range itself is called class 3 uh, obesity. So any uh, person uh, above uh, 30, 35 with some comorbid conditions like your diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol, asthma, wheezing, whatever, you know, that's called, uh, that becomes, uh, even if they have a low BMI, but these diseases, when we add it, it goes to the next level. Suppose somebody is in class 1, when we add these things, we go to class 2. So, then generally, so okay, BMA is a little complex, you know, it, uh, you know somebody will be uh, overweight by the upper part, somebody will be overweight by the lower part. So then the classifications, uh, practically how to do, you know, the doctor can or in a medical uh, profession people can do the BMA. But what what a person himself can easily do that is first is uh, you know way, uh, height uh, weight minus uh, you know the, suppose somebody is uh, height in centimeters minus hundred suppose somebody is one seventy centimeters minus hundred so the maximum allowed weight for that particular person is seventy suppose somebody is one fifty five one fifty five minus hundred fifty five kg is a simple way the other way is Waist to hip ratio, waist to hip ratio. So always our waist, that is the you know the nothing and the navel area should be smaller than our waist. So it should be less than one for uh, for any male. For females, we say 0.85. If it's more than that, that means they come to category of obesity and they are prone for other risk factors. So the other way of uh, uh, deciding whether we are uh, overweight is so if for Indian and Asians the maximum hip uh, uh, hip size is only uh, for a male is 90 centimeters or female is 80 centimeters or uh, now to be more little more accurate uh, uh, you know uh, your hip size should be half of your uh, height suppose somebody is 170 centimeters divided by 2 comes around um, uh, uh, 85 centimeters not inches, I'm talking about centimeters. So your hip size maximum allowed is 80 centimeters. These are the ways we can, you know, um, um, so uh, practically as an individual, uh, on a day-to-day -day life practice, we can measure and see whether we are fit or unfit or are prone for any uh, uh, diseases can be measured.